Hey guys, welcome back to Gatling Geek. First of all, Happy New Year to all of you and your families. Today's video is about corn and popcorn. First, let me clear the burning questions and misconceptions that we have about corn. The first one is, a lot of people get confused between maize and corn. If you're one of them, I'll clear that thought right now. When someone is using the words corn and maize, they are referring to the same food. But why are there two terms for the same food? Well, the term corn originated from the North American English, whereas the word maize originated from the British English. It's just like these words that we see here. So corn and maize have the same meaning but are used by people of different regions. The second one is, is corn a vegetable or a fruit? Now this is an interesting question. Vegetables are something that come from the leaves, stems and other parts of a plant. Fruits come from the flower of a plant. This is why several foods that we think of as vegetables are actually fruits, like tomatoes and avocados. So what about corn? It's a little complicated. The corn along with the cob is considered as a vegetable because it comes from the leaves of the corn plant. The corn kernel, which is basically the seed of the corn plant, is considered as a grain. Not just a normal grain, it is a whole grain. What are whole grains? Every grain on the planet have three important substances in them. Those are bran, germ, and endosperm. If these three substances are left intact, then it is called as a whole grain. If the grain is milled or degermed to remove the bran and germ, then it's called a refined grain. Whole grain foods are good choices for a nutritious diet. They provide fiber, vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients. They help us to control cholesterol levels, weight, and blood pressure. These foods also help us lower the risk of diabetes, heart disease, and other conditions. So corn kernels are usually consumed without milling or de-germing. So it's a whole grain. And the next statement is going to blow your mind. The popcorn is considered as a fruit because they come from the cob, which is basically the flower of the corn plant. As I said earlier, fruits come from the flower of a plant. So here corn kernels come from the cob of the corn plant. So corn is a vegetable, a fruit, and a whole grain. But no matter what category it falls into, corn is always good for you and it's always part of a healthy diet. So now we know corn is good for health, but is corn endangered? A lot of nutritious foods have gone extinct since the last 20 years. Let's see if corn is in that list. We can find that information in the IUCN Red List. Here IUCN stands for the International Union for Conservation of Nature and is commonly referred to as IUCN Red List of Threatened Species or IUCN Red List or Red Data Book. It was founded in 1964 and it is the world's most accurate and updated inventory of the global conservation status of all biological species. It uses a set of precise criteria to evaluate the extinction risk of thousands of species and subspecies. This is corn's status in the IUCN. Here LC stands for least concern, so corn is not in the danger zone. This also reminds me of the movie called Interstellar. In that movie, a plague called Blight ravages and destroys almost all the remaining food sources on Earth. By the time Interstellar occurs, the last crops are dying off, leaving corn as the only viable food source for humanity. Interstellar is a beautiful and a brilliant movie. You guys must watch it if you haven't. Now let's talk about popcorn. So what is popcorn? When you remove the corn kernels from the cob of the corn and heat them up, they expand and puff up. This is called popped corn and it was later referred to as popcorn in the modern world. Let's see some interesting information about this snack. Corn was first found in the region which is now Mexico City. The history of corn and popcorn go back to almost 10,000 years ago. The fossil evidence from Peru suggests that corn was popped using fire since 4700 BC. I mean, this is the oldest snack known to humanity. In the early days, corn was popped with the help of fire by using hands and sticks until the 18th century. In 1880, the owner of Pretter's Candy Store in Chicago 
Charles Credders had invented the first steam-powered machine for roasting corn kernels, which became the first popcorn machine, and later those machines were placed in the street carts. In 1981, General Mills received the permission for launching the first batch of microwave oven popcorn bags. So how does corn turn into popcorn? Each corn kernel has a little amount of water and oil inside them. So, as heat is applied to these corn kernels, the droplets of water converts into steam and the pressure begins to build. Once the hull can no longer hold the pressure of the steam, the kernel explodes and then the starch inside the kernel turns into the white, fluffy, crunchy stuff that we call popcorn. Plain popcorn is considered as the healthiest snack in the world according to many scientists and health institutions. There are plenty of nutrients in plain popcorn like protein, calcium, fiber, copper, zinc, vitamin B6, potassium, and niacin. Popcorn is good for teeth. It helps us in improvement of eye health. It also helps us in lowering the LDL which is low-density lipoprotein, commonly referred to as bad cholesterol. If you're living in India, you guys should try the popcorn brand Peepo. It's a New Delhi-based company owned by Modi Naturals, not to be confused with the Indian Prime Minister Modi. Modi Naturals is owned by Akshay Modi and the company has been successful since 1974. They have a lot of popcorn flavors and it's very affordable. Just one pack of Peepo popcorn will give you a full bucket of theater style flavored popcorn. Irrespective of the flavors, we have only two types of popcorn, butterfly popcorn and mushroom popcorn. But it doesn't matter if we make popcorn at home or eat at the theater because all these are flavored popcorns. My favorite is the original popcorn that comes from the steam powered machine. And those machines are disappearing every day. I've been searching for one for many days and today I finally located the only steam powered popcorn street machine in my city. Let's take a look. Hello, दोस्त कैसे हो ये कितने का है ये 10 रुपए कौन सी टाइम पे आते हैं यहां पे फ्रेश वाला बना रहे हो अभी बनाओ बनाओ So, popcorn is my favorite snack of all time. I'm never tired of it. I can have a whole big bucket of it and I'll still want more. And I'm sure you guys love it too. So what's your favorite brand or flavor of the popcorn? Let me know in the comments below. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Take care.